it's Emily. So I've had a lot of feedback on um, from you guys about what you'd like to see more of. And I get more of the meal prepping. And honestly, I can tell you that it is the simplest thing that I do. Um, it, it takes me on a Sunday. I plan my day. And um, I want to start out by saying that you need to be making a list of what you're going to be eating that week as well as a list to go to the store with. Because most people go to the store, they walk it down every single aisle, and if they need something, they'll just pull it off the shelf and put it in their cart, and then they'll get home and realize that, well, I didn't get much food this week, or I didn't get um, stuff to make dinners. I got mostly snacks or something like that. So um, make sure that you're following a list and um, or your meal plan guide from your program. I'm currently doing Insanity Max. And um, it goes along with the 21 day fix meal plan. So obviously I have all of my little beautiful colored containers that go along with this program as well. So if you have done the 21 day fix previously or currently doing it or something, follow these because this is your portion control right here. This is going to help you in the long run figure out what you're supposed to be doing. So how I start my day is I always have my shake. And that's always my first meal right after I do my workout. So my shake will consist of a scoop of my Shakeology. I will throw in some cinnamon, water and ice, half of a frozen banana, and um, a scoop, a tablespoon of peanut butter. I've cut back on my peanut butter a lot. Usually I do two, but I've only been doing one. So I do that as my morning. Um, and then in the mid-morning I have either two of these little halos because they're delicious or I have an apple and I cut I don't I leave the skin on but I cut um, the middle out and everything I put it in a bowl and I put some cinnamon on top and then I put it in the microwave for one to two minutes or however long it's gonna take to um, make it warm and mushy ish and then I eat that so that would be considered a purple um, these are really small, so I do two. Granted, they don't fit in here, but whenever you take them apart, they do. And then an apple would also be considered a purple. So that would be already take care of my um, fruit for the day because I do throw half of a frozen banana into my shake as well. So that's two of my purples a day, so that's done. All right, so there's two meals already planned. My Shakeology is my breakfast, and my fruit is my mid-morning snack. So then lunch, I am actually currently making some chili. Um, it's for me and my husband, and I don't want to take it out yet because it's not done. But what I do is I fill this little red container up. And let's say you don't have containers. You can also use measuring cups or anything, just so you know you're getting the right portions because that's the biggest thing. People think they can eat as much as they want, and it's not going to help them in the long run. So that would be as my lunch. I also have a side of vegetables. Um, I cook some peas. They're still kind of warm. And then some broccoli. So I split my peas and my broccoli up between my lunch and my dinner. And um, this is how I do it. I fill this up with my chili. I take a bowl and I put it in there. And then I fill up my broccoli in this cup, my vegetable container, and put it in there. I put the lid on and I put it in the fridge and that's a meal for the day. And since I don't like making seven different meals a week, I make the same thing and eat it every day. And that's fine with me. If it's not with you, make sure that you're just getting maybe turkey burgers for a meal or veggie burgers or having something else as a different meal throughout the week. Um, you can make two or three different meals if you would like. But that's what I do. I don't like to make a lot of stuff, but I take Sunday as my meal prep day, and I get everything done. So I went ahead and cooked some chicken. It's all right here. And um, I this will be for my dinner. I usually just cut it so I can make sure it fits in my container because a big thing isn't going to fit in there. And then I put them in my 
red container. I'm telling you, this has this is very easy. A lot of people make it complicated and think that it's too hard to meal prep. In reality, it's really not. Because all you're doing is just taking that day and that time and putting it into make sure that your health is in check. All right. So the red container is protein. So since I already had my shake for the day, that's one protein. I also had chili. I labeled that as my second protein as well as a carb because they are beans in it. And then um, this chicken will be my third protein and I need four a day and I'm getting to that. So what I do, yet again, let me get a different one. Take my chicken and dump it in there. So there's my chicken for my dinner. And usually what I put on my chicken is either mustard or salsa, um, just to give it the extra flavor and extra kick to it. So next I do my carb, which is going to be sweet potatoes this week. And I actually baked my sweet potatoes for about an hour and a half, um, just to make sure that it got done, because I've been making them, and they have been kind of hard. And I don't like when my sweet potatoes are hard, because then I won't eat them. And I'm probably not the only one. Okay, so I fill up my carb container right here, my carbs with my sweet potatoes. Here's my bowl with my chicken. And I dump it in. Okay? So simple as that. So there's my carb and there's my protein for the day. My dinner. So here is my, I'm going to have peas with dinner. Now there's a lot of peas. Maybe I'll make broccoli. I don't want broccoli. Let's have broccoli. So your veggie container is supposed to be filled three times a day. I don't eat a lot of vegetables. So... I only do twice a day. And then sometimes I add in an extra fruit. Um, like if I eat two halos, I'll throw in the apple later on in the day. But I take my broccoli and my container. It's a big broccoli. Okay. There's my broccoli in my green container. Here's my container with my chicken and sweet potatoes. And I dump it in there. So there's my dinner for the week. One day, I do this for seven days. I make um, six or seven days as much as I can get. Um, I made two packets of chicken and um, two big sweet potatoes because carbs are a really small container compared to, let's say, the vegetables. And that's, that's my dinner. That's how I meal prep. So whenever um, I'm also going to throw in some eggs and um, salsa as well. So what I'll do is I don't want to pre-cook my eggs since I'm home. Since I work full time from home, I will just make my eggs here whenever I want them. And it's just two eggs and two eggs equals a protein. So there I got all of my protein in for one day. And um, if you're tired of either making the same thing, I suggest going on Pinterest and searching for new recipes. Um, they have a ton on there. Obviously, everybody out here loves Pinterest, and there's a ton of recipes on there. So um, I challenge you to really look at how you're eating and decide that you're really going to change it and um, start planning stuff out because, honestly, it is very simple. I've made a video before. Um, it is the easiest thing you can do. Um, it's grab and go. If you want vegetables, more vegetables thrown in, fill up your green container with carrots and put them in baggies. Um, I do that as well with fruit. Um, if I know I'm going away, I pack them in Ziploc bags so I can just grab them out of the fridge and go. Um, it's very simple. So don't make it harder than it looks because it's really, really, really easy. And like I said, if you don't have containers, just watch your portions. 
All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Bye.